All right, we're looking at number 13. Ethanol sometimes uses as an, as an additive in oxygenated gasoline. We want to calculate its enthalpy of combustion using the bond energies. All right, enthalpy of combustion tells us what we want to do with this enth ethanol, and it means we're going to combust it. So ethanol, should have given a formula for that, is actually C2H6O. More specifically, has a Lewis structure. Like so. And we are going to combust it, so we're going to mix it with oxygen and get carbon dioxide and water. Now, if I balance this out, I would need to have two of those to take care of the carbons. We have six hydrogens, so I would need three um, waters. That's four oxygens plus another three. And uh, I have one oxygen, so I need six oxygens. Did I get that balance? Two carbons, six hydrogens, 12, 13 oxygens. No, that should only be three. Now we got seven oxygens and four and three. Yeah, all right, so now I have it balanced. All right, now the nice thing about putting down my Lewis structures is they're going to help me determine the number of bonds I am going to be breaking and forming because that's what's actually happening when we're doing a chemical reaction. We're breaking and forming bonds. Now I'm drawing some rushed Lewis structures because I left off the lone pairs. I can add those back on here really easy. So I got those three water molecules here. I have two carbon dioxides. And I have three oxygen molecules. And our ethanol. And this would give us our molar enthalpy because we have just one ethanol. All right, so bonds being broke, I have a bunch of CH bonds. And it's one, two, three, four, five, a carbon-carbon bond, a carbon-oxygen bond, and an oxygen-hydrogen bond. Now those four are just coming from the ethanol. Now on the oxygens, there's only one type of bond. It is just an oxygen-oxygen double bond, but there are going to be three of them that get broke. So that's all the bonds in my reactants. So that's all the bonds that we would break. And then all the bonds we would form, I have oxygen-carbon double bonds. I have one, two, three, four of those. I need to make that give myself some more space. And I have OH bonds, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. All right, now we're just kind of plug things in and up, up here. So I have those five CH bonds, and that's 413 kilojoules. One carbon-carbon bond, so 347 one carbon-oxygen bond, so 358, one oxygen-hydrogen bond, 467, and three O2s, so 498. And I'm going to subtract four oxygen-carbon double bonds, 799, and six OH bonds. Now, technically, had you caught it, that six OH bonds is actually only five because that's kind of implying we don't really need to break an OH bond. We already had one. But I'm going to pretend like I missed it and let the calculator do all that work for me. So all my bonds broke here. I have 413 times five plus 347 plus 358 
plus 467 plus 3 times 498. That would be all of my bonds broken. And then all the ones formed minus 4 times 799 and 6 times 467. And I get that that enthalpy should be negative 1267. Kilojoules.